So here we're going to talk about the field properties of real numbers. For all real numbers again here, and we're going to say, well, for all real numbers A, B, and C. So again, A, B, and C can be any real number. And for our examples, we will do the left and the right here. The left will be the letters, right will be examples, examples of real numbers where A equals 12, B equals 6, and C equals 5, and showing that these properties apply. Okay, so the closure property is the first one we're going to talk about here. And the closure property states that A plus B and A times B, not ab, A times B, are unique real numbers. So what does it mean to be a unique real number? What that means is when you add A and B, where their set numbers are, when you add them, you will only get one answer, one answer out there. So if we had A and B, uh, 12 plus 6, 12 plus 6, that equals 18. And it will always equal 18. There's no other number it can be. It will always equal 18. It's a unique answer, a unique one. So again, with multiplication, so a lot of these properties will deal with addition and multiplication here. Multiplication, 12 times 6, all right, the product of 12 and 6 is 72. Again, it's another real number, and it's going to be a unique real number, okay? These products here have to be in, uh, real numbers, and so it's kind of also saying that you add any two real numbers, you get another real number, and you multiply any two real numbers, you get another unique real number. So the unique is a thing you'll notice when you look at mathematics definitions, or mathematical definitions, and Unique will say there's a specific one and the only one. It's unique. Thank you for watching the video.